EIE Instruments Private Limited presents Determination of Theoretical Maximum Specific Gravity of Bituminous Paving Mix as per ASHTO T209 This test method covers the determination of the theoretical maximum specific gravity and density of uncompacted bituminous paving mixtures at 25 degrees Celsius. The theoretical maximum specific gravity, that is GTM, is used to calculate air voids in compacted bituminous mixtures, to calculate the amount of bitumen absorbed by the aggregate, to provide target value of air voids and density for the compaction of paving mixtures in the field. Apparatus The setup to carry out the test consists of 1. Volumetric vacuum flask 4 in numbers 2. Vacuum pump with regulator 3. Glass thermometer 4. Constant temperature bath 5. Hot air oven 6. Mechanical agitator 7. Weighing balance 8. Mixing pan 9. Glass cover plate Calibration of flask the vacuum flask is filled with water at 25 degrees Celsius. The glass cover plate is used to ensure that the flask is completely full. Clean the outer surface of the flask and weigh to the nearest gram which is noted as D. That is 6068.4 grams. Procedure here we are showing test procedure with one example of actual reading. The sample of bituminous mix to be compacted in the field is collected, oven dried and the particles of loose paving mixture are separated out by hand so that the particles are not larger than the required size. Weigh the empty oven dried flask. The flask is filled with sample and weighed. Net weight of the sample is determined as A is equal to 2074.2 grams. The bituminous mix is selected as per following. Minimum sample size of 1500 grams is required for mixes with nominal maximum aggregate size of 12.5 mm. Minimum sample size of 2500 grams is required for mixes with nominal maximum aggregate size of 19 to 25 mm. Minimum sample size of 4000 grams is required for mixes with nominal maximum aggregate size of 37.5 mm or greater. Add sufficient water at the temperature of 25 degrees Celsius to cover the sample completely. Stopper is placed on the flask. The flask is agitated manually or alternately placed on mechanical agitator. The vacuum of 27.5 mm plus or minus 2.5 mm of mercury is applied to remove entrapped air. The train of three additional filter flasks of small capacity is connected with sample flask to trap the water so that the entry of the water in vacuum pump is avoided. After achieving the required vacuum within two minutes, the vacuum and agitation are continued for 15 minutes plus or minus two minutes. After the time period, the vacuum is released with the bleed valve. Now, the flask is filled completely with water using a cover plate without entrapping air beneath the cover plate. The flask is placed in the constant temperature water bath for 10 minutes plus or minus 1 minute to stabilize the temperature at 25 degrees Celsius without submerging the top of the flask. The exterior of the flask 
and cover plate is wiped and dried. The mass of the flask, cover plate and its contents completely filled with water is determined as E which is equal to 7326.3 grams. Calculation The maximum specific gravity of bituminous mix GTM is equal to A upon A plus D minus E where A is equal to weight of the oven dried sample in air in grams D is equal to weight of cover plate and flask filled with water at 25 degrees Celsius in grams E is equal to weight of flask cover plate sample and water at 25 degrees Celsius in grams here A is equal to weight of the oven dry sample in air in grams is equal to 2074.2 grams D is equal to weight of cover plate and flask filled with water at 25 degrees Celsius in grams is equal to 6068.4 grams E is equal to weight of flask cover plate sample and water at 25 degrees Celsius in grams is equal to 7326.3 grams so specific gravity of bituminous mix is equal to 2074.2 upon 2074.2 plus 6068.4 minus 7326.3 that is equal to 2074.2 upon 816.3 so theoretical maximum specific gravity GTM is equal to 2.5409 gram per centimeter cube precautions 1 the vacuum flask should be cleaned and dried before weighing 2 the surface of the vacuum flask should be cleaned after filling with water before weighing 3 the test temperature should be maintained accurately 4 the balance and thermometer should be calibrated to achieve reproducible results 5 at least three determinations should be made for determining value of the specific gravity thank you wishing you an accurate testing please visit us at www.eieinstruments.com